Hello and welcome back to Enterprise Architecture. Uh, this week we are once again playing Minecraft, again one of my all-time favorite games. It actually inspired the name of this series, the Ender in Enterprise Architecture, it comes from uh, Minecraft originally. So yeah, last time we played we set up um, you know, this new room for our smeltery here that you can kind of see behind me. Um, and decorated the place for Halloween. So, you know, getting ready for the month of October. Um, really exciting stuff to uh, try and make this place look a little, a little bit more decorative and spooky. Um, but for today, I thought we'd get started on uh, some new mods and some new builds. So let's get started. Okay, so I figured what we need to do is start making a checklist of things that we want to get done here uh, for the next couple of... Uh, sessions. So today, I think what we're going to focus on is my first item on this list, setting up storage. Now we have storage drawers, and we also have the simple storage network, which is going to be our early game storage. Uh, later on, there's more advanced storage options in this pack that we will also play with. Um, Refined is in here and some of the other great mods. Um, but for right now, I just want to get storage drawers set up so that we can stop having to shove everything into chests and try and find them. After that, um, we probably won't get to that this episode, um, I do want to set up some power generation so we can start getting some machines set up. Um, for this, I think we'll probably do uh, water wheels um, from Immersive Engineering um, for our early game stuff. Um, to do that, you'll see on the right here, we actually, I believe, need treated wood from Immersive Engineering, which means we'll have to set up um, the uh, coke oven and some of those other pieces that uh, give us the creosote oil that we need to make treated wood. Um, once we've done all of that, uh, I want to start getting into some mechanism. Again, one of my all-time favorite mods, um, and again, one of the inspirations for this pack. Um, and once we get that, mechanism will get us to ore doubling, and then I think we will get up to ore tripling. And then we'll start um, needing probably a lot more power. So at that point, we'll do uh, some solar. So those are the items I have on my list for right now. After that, uh, we'll see how we feel. Um, there's probably more stuff we can do. Uh, we'll probably need to do some farming by then um, and start getting uh, some probably hemp production and things like that set up here. But uh, for right now, I think this is a great place to start before we start thinking about mystical agriculture and um, even some of the uh, other uh, adventure places for us to explore, you know, there's um, other dimensions here that we can check out. Um, but today, we are going to check out one of those other dimensions. And of course, what better other dimension to start with but the Nether? Again, we're playing the uh, this for Halloween, um, and of course, the uh, original Halloween update for Minecraft added the Nether, in addition to the jack-o'-lanterns that we placed down in the pristine. Now, the main reason we're going to the Nether, not just to, uh, you know, do some tourism, but more importantly is because we need quartz. Uh, desperately, desperately need quartz. Quartz um, is one of the items, uh, or excuse me, one of the ingredients uh, that is used in um, the simple storage network. Uh, I think we need four blocks of quartz to do that. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and at least mine a little bit of quartz. Now, I, oh, hello. Yes, zombie pig man. Um, so we're only going to get just enough quartz to get us through for right now. Um, we'll definitely be back here for future episodes, but we have to at least come for a little while. Now, note the, uh, the notification we just got. You begin to feel comfortable handling the iron pickaxe. I did want to mention that um, in addition to Tinker's Construct, we also added Tinker's Tool Leveling. And the great thing that that adds is that um, you'll see uh, under my iron hammer here, I have 1280 experience points out of 4,500. And then for my pick, uh, one out of 1,000 um, for my experience points. What that's referring to is this, this Tinker's Tool Leveling mod, which adds um, additional uh, modifiers to your uh, tools as you get more experience. Um, so the tools actually get better. Uh, you can add um, additional haste to it. You can add sharpness, looting, all of these other things, um, which are exist in Tinker's Construct already. But again, um, the additional modifiers in this are all based on the experience points that you get uh, for those tools. So I'm still clumsy on most of my tools, but I've been using my pickaxe enough that I am now comfortable with it. 
Uh, and there's several levels to go through here. Um, we're not going to worry about grinding out those levels right now, uh, because again, we're playing for fun here. Um, we don't really need to spend all of that time, but you do get experience points as you mine things. So we'll, uh, we'll be using our tools to try and get more of that. Now, again, we're still playing Big Fork, my personal mod pack, so you'll notice that the uh, generation of quartz here is uh, a lot higher than your normal game as well. Uh, this is just a massive, massive amount of quartz here that's going to be showing up. So we're just going to gather up all of that. And again, just going to get enough that we need for getting started in Simple Storage mod and some of the other things we're going to be doing. So I already have an entire stack of quartz right there just from the minute or so, two minutes we've been mining. Gather up these last few pieces. And that one. And there we go. How many do we have now? Let's take a look. Uh, just under two stacks. A um, couple of pieces here. I'm just going to go ahead and get these last five right here. I'm not even going to clean this out. I'm just going to get myself two full stacks. And you know what? While I'm here to save myself a trip later, I'm going to pick up a bunch of soul stone. And we're going to use Soul Stone in Mystical Agriculture. Again, you can see right here that it comes from that mod. Um, and so we're going to need that later. But we'll just gather up a little bit here. And we'll just take that to 32, half a stack. Perfect. Okay. Uh, you'll see there's also some, uh, I think those are uh, Natura trees there that have been added. You'll see some other ores here, like uh, coal from Cyclic. Um, all of these great little uh, additions here. But it is, of course, the old, old nether. Um, it's not the modern nether with the additional biomes they've added. This is all just uh, one type of nether here. And looking at our map, uh, yeah, it looks like you can see the trees here. Um, but I don't see a fortress or anything on this uh, map to start. Uh, sometimes you luck out and there'll be a fortress right there, and you can just dive into uh, getting some of the resources, but I'm not seeing that. So we'll have to explore the nether again more later. For right now, though, we've gotten everything we need, uh, so let's dive back in. Okay, and we are back here. Now, you'll note I put the uh, nether portal down here where our quarry used to be. There really wasn't much left in here. There's just a little bit more copper I need to get. But I figured this would be a nice little room just to plunk this down to give us a little bit of space as we expand slowly. Um, so, we have, uh, as you can see, a bit of a resource uh, crisis and that we don't have enough space for all of this. Um, so, the first thing we're going to do is start building some storage drawers. So the storage drawers mod gives you a bunch of different types of basically like chests, but they only hold a single or several types of a given item. So the basic drawer holds one item that can hold 32 stacks of that single type of item. You have the one by two drawers, which holds two types of items, but it holds 16 stacks per drawer. And then you have the two by two drawers, which hold only eight stacks per drawer. Now you can also upgrade these um, with these storage upgrades. So the gold, for instance, it gives you eight times the value. The diamond gives you 16 times the base value. And the emerald gives you 32 times the base value. Now, we haven't even found a single emerald yet. Um, so we're probably not going to be doing that. But we do have a little bit of gold. And certainly, uh, we have plenty of iron um, to do the basic upgrades. But I think I'm going to do a mix here of basic drawers um, that are one by one and the two by two. And so we're going to create a wall of these drawers and that'll just help us with all of our item storage, um, here for the early game. So first things first, we need to create uh, a bunch of chests for these. Um, and then we also, uh, will fill those in with planks and that's how all of these recipes look. It's kind of this, usually see a cross sort of pattern here with the uh, chests above and below, depending on the type of drawers you're going to make. It's very logical, right? You've got um, two by two of drawers, so you've got a chest in each corner, and then fill it in with the planks of whatever color we want to use. So for this, we've got a lot of spruce trees around here. So I think we're going to focus on um, spruce uh, for the actual uh, drawers that we are making here. So I'm going to make um, a whole bunch of chests real quick.
Okay, 24 there. And then uh, I'm going to use a bunch of those to then uh, make the drawers that we want. Um, so we can split them like this. And then we use our spruce wood. There we go. And so we get four each of those. So let's do 20 for now. Um, and then with our remaining chests, we're going to um, make these into um, the one by one drawers. So those look like this shape. And so we'll do four of those. And we're gonna use that for our um, items that we end up having a whole lot of extras of. Um, now comes the question of where to put them. So I don't really wanna clutter up this main room here so much, and I might move a lot of our crafting and storage downstairs. So I think having it down here makes the most sense. And since we have this wall available, I figure maybe we redo this area a little bit um, and start building it out on this wall. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that um, since we are using uh, the simple storage network with this, um, we're actually gonna have to put cables behind this to wire all of it up. So I'm just gonna knock out a little extra space for us here for us to be able to build back behind all of this uh, stuff so we can add all this in. So plunk down a couple of extra torches here um, and we can use F7 to check our lighting. Uh, yeah, so don't have to worry about half steps here that don't have enough lighting, but uh, we are gonna have to make sure that we have enough lighting on this side. So, okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and uh, put down our storage drawers. So we want them to line flush up with the wall here. And I'm hearing a cow. Oh, and that is one problem with them. They do tend to uh, want to be facing the direction that you're facing when you put it down. So you have to be a little careful. There, um, we still have a few more, so let's, let's keep going. And we'll pull out our excavator to deal with the rest of this dirt and then shovel out the little bits. Okay. And we can keep going with these. I mean, we're gonna end up having a lot of items. We have a, a very large mod pack here, so we wanna really take advantage of this. Um, Okay, and then we fill in on the last two of our basic drawers, like that. Um, and you know what, we're just gonna go ahead and, let's just go ahead and take out to all the way to this, this wall. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, that is the, uh, the problem, of course, with uh, mining on a mountain. All of a sudden we've uh, Seem to have exposed ourselves a little bit here, so let's uh, let's just uh, close this in real quick, and we'll pretend like uh, that didn't happen. Great. Um, okay, a couple of more torches up there. Oh, it's not quite matchy, matchy. There we go. Um, and then I'll run some torches across the top here, just to make sure that we have enough lighting in here. Um, and check again the ground. F7. Yeah, I'm not seeing any red X's except for these by the window. Definitely not any yellow ones. So that should be fine. All right, so there is our wall of storage, right? Um, and so we can come in here and just like, for instance, cobblestone, we're gonna have a lot of cobblestone. So we put that in one box there um, and we'll slowly migrate our items over here. But first, um, let's go ahead and finish out um, this wall by building our simple storage network. Okay, I think I have enough ingredients here to make a good start at this, although I might need to go back for more. Um, so what we need to do is to uh, connect um, all of our wall we have back there with these uh, storage link cables. It then we'll take any item in that inventory and make it available uh, to our network master and our request table. Um, we also, of course, need a network master and a request table. Um, so first things first, uh, let's go ahead and uh, build out uh, that master. So we go to the um, uh, tool forge here, and it looks like we don't have uh, any of the things we need. 
So first things first, storage cables. Storage cables uh, are used in all of the other items. They also by themselves can use to connect networks that are not immediately adjacent. Those are made with a bunch of stone slabs. So I cooked up a bunch of stone earlier. So let's just make a ton of slabs to start. Um, and then we're gonna make a whole bunch of these cables. Um, I think we're gonna need probably at least two stacks. So we'll start there. Okay. Now we'll build a storage network master. So that needs four blocks of quartz. So we have way more quartz than we need. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, make that storage network master and we'll drop off our extra quartz here. Um, next, the storage network master is the, uh, as it says, the heart of the network. So you only need one of those and that's going to power the rest of the network. Um, next, we're going to need a uh, storage request table. And for that, it does need one crafting table, uh, crafting bench, excuse me, crafting bench, crafting table. Yeah, no, sorry. I should know the name of the most basic item in all of Minecraft by now. Um, and then a whole bunch of storage link cables. So again, we did a whole bunch of uh, the wall of storage there. So we're going to need um, a bunch of storage link cables. Um, those of course are also made with a chest. So we need to take some of our remaining uh, wood that we have been hoarding um, and use that to make uh, a bunch of chests too. So we'll do eight and another stack of eight here. And then we'll use that to make um, a bunch of these, uh, a full stack of storage link cables. Um, and then I think that's all we need for now. So let's grab those items up. And we will run back over here and wire all this up. So we come around behind the, uh, the chest that we've already put down, these storage drawers, and we just start plonking cables across the back. Just like that. And that'll give us a connected network. Now from there, we can use our link cables. Um, we don't need to actually go far, I could just connect it right off the back there, but I want to think about future expansion. So I'm putting the storage network master there. And then around the front here, uh, I'm going to put the request table right in, in the middle. Um, and I just attach that with a normal cable. So uh, turn off that. Um, and now you'll see right now we just have cobblestone in here. That's it. That's all we've got in there. So when we look at the inventory here, all we have is cobblestone. That's all. Um, but if we uh, click on this a couple times, that's going to dump all the cobblestone for our inventory in there. And now, as you can see, even more cobblestone has now been stuck into our uh, massive inventory system. I'm also going to just start taking some of these other items and just dump them from my inventory. So all of our various ores that we have that we've been mining, uh, we'll put those in here. Um, eventually, we're going to want separate uh, storage inventories, um, depending on... Uh, what we're going to be building at any given time. So for instance, you generally don't craft anything with raw ore, but for right now, I just want a place to put all of this stuff that I've got. Um, so again, I'm going to put the uh, andesite down, the diorite down, some marble here, just all the stuff I've got. Um, and the items that I'm going to be more frequently using, I think I'm going to put uh, more closer to the right. Those stone slabs there. I'll go drop this uh, limestone here. Um, and I try to group things thematically, so netherrack, you know, stuff like that. We'll put our lapis, uh, what do you say over here? That's a good place for it. Some diamonds, uh, charcoal and coal probably need to go together. Um, certainly our wood. And again, just kind of, uh, haphazardly, uh, nether quartz. It's kind of in between those things, right? Dirt. Again, we're going to have a lot of dirt, so dirt gets its own big basic drawer. And, you know, redstone is another one of those things that we're going to have a whole lot of. Coal will probably have a whole lot of. Iron will probably end up having a whole lot of. All of that sort of stuff. Um, you know what? Also, while we're at it, compacting. Yeah. There's also this compacting drawer, which lets you uh, pull out items that have different uh, types. So for instance, an iron ingot can be turned either into an iron block if you have enough of them, 
or if you go the opposite direction, iron nuggets. Um, so the compacting drawer is super neat and useful for that. Maybe we'll just, um, do we have enough items to make that? You know, if I hadn't just dropped off all of our wood, we would have enough. So let's just grab that. Back. Let's just make one of these for now, right? Um, so we need two pistons. Um, a bit more stone, which again, if we hadn't dropped off, would be fine. Actually, we won't be fine because we need to go grab uh, another load of stone from our smeltery. Or our <laughs> furnace setup, I should say, my automated furnace that's just sitting awkwardly on the outside of the building. We probably need to do something about that. So we'll do one uh, basic drawer here that just requires a single plank or a single chest uh, and some planks. So we'll do that. I think, yeah, there we go. There's a compacting drawer. There's also a uh, storage drawers interface that lets us dump a lot of items all at once. So maybe let's, uh, let's look at that too. And uh, let's see, yeah, that's also called the drawer controller. Um, you know what, we won't make that yet. We'll come back to that, don't worry about that. Uh, that just lets us really easily insert a whole bunch of items if we want to all at once. Um, so let's do the compacting drawer. And of course we have to wire it up. And then we can, there we go, uh, have all of these items in one place. Um, and then if we just see, so we just put, um, the block of iron in here, but you'll also see that it's got uh, nuggets and ingots here. So if I take ingots, I can actually click on here and it'll just add it in automatically, which is really nice. Um, yeah, so let's see here. Let's drop off some redstone. Let's drop off some coal. Yeah, there we go, a whole bunch of stuff. And since we've got it all in our network, um, we can actually just start dropping them directly uh, into the network instead of having to do this manually. But for right now, I'm gonna to wanna to lay these out just a little bit. Um, so I am gonna be uh, a little bit more careful about how I set these things up. Uh, there's some aluminum. Let's just go ahead and grab all of our raw ores out of here. Raw iron, tin, again, all of these great ores from all of the other mods that we're gonna be using, osmium, uh, gold, of course, is a standard. Some more aluminum here. Uh, and silver. I think that's all I have for right now. And most of these uh, ores, of course, can be mined with the uh, iron pickaxe we already have. Um, but there are going to be some later on, like platinum, that we're going to need uh, other uh, deeper or other stronger metals and uh, alloys to be able to use, unfortunately. All right, so flint, um, we'll deal with clay in a second, uh, more iron ore. And this infernium essence, we're gonna have probably a lot of as well. Um, you know, but for right now, we'll just, we'll just stick it over here along with our prosperity shards. Uh, let's see here, more cobblestone. Um, Put the uh, block of quartz in here, our cooked stone, um, and then our wood we want to start filling in as well. Got a few bricks, got some glass, let's see here, more copper. Oh, I guess that's our first copper. And, you know, I'm not going to put everything, everything in there just yet. Uh, just the stuff that I know I'm going to be using here in the near future. Um, so just some sticks and some, put those there and the rest of our cobblestone. Okay, great. Now uh, you can see all of those great items that we dropped off in here have already started to uh, fill in uh, our inventory. And uh, if we want, we can start making things with it. Um, so uh, let's see here. Um, say like if we wanted to make a piston, you can uh, 
go to the piston here, we press R to get the recipe, and when we hit the plus item, uh, the plus uh, button, it automatically will move them over here into this crafting grid that's built into the storage network, and we can just literally grab a piston. And once we grab the piston out, the other fun thing is that it'll remember uh, the items uh, that it needs, and so you can make more. If you hold shift when you click on it, it'll give you the option to make um, as many as you have items uh, to fill. Uh, but we don't actually need pistons right now, so, you know, uh, we're just gonna shove that into our inventory. Oh, why not? We'll put the clay in here. Some string. Um, you know, we've got wheat, monster stuff, uh, monster flesh, rotten flesh, all that. Um, so yeah, there's our initial storage setup. And again, it's all wired back here. Now, um, obviously we've got some room for growth. Um, as we need to expand, we can probably bring it around this side. We can add another couple of rows off the top here that we can build up. Um, so we've got plenty of room for future expansion, but this will be the workhorse for now. But again, I did want to flag that we do have um, some advanced storage in here. We do have the refined storage mod that I mentioned earlier, and later in the game, after we get uh, past mechanisms and some of that stuff, we're going to start playing with that. So only one thing left to do in this episode, and that's uh, go back to our uh, original uh, list here and update it. And there we have it. Uh, I forgot you can't actually uh, just click and edit signs, unfortunately. But um, now we have finished all of our storage. So next episode, we're going to have to get started on this treated wood um, from Immersive Engineering. And then after that, we can start uh, wiring up our power because that allows us to make some water wheels. And then we can start doing more uh, immersive engineering and more mechanism, as well as some of the other uh, mods, thermal foundation and whatnot, uh, we'll start playing with as well. But for right now, this is where we're going to stop this episode. So thank you again for joining us here on Enterprise Architecture, and we'll see you back here next time. Bye, friends. Bye!